coming up. I've known Brady's mom for about 10 years, okay. and she brought me something at uh, my request. <laughs> Take the student section off first. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! That student uh, section was dynamic. Signal Sports Hot 10 is brought to you in part by Total Woman Gym and Day Spa and Nissan of Valencia. Hi, I'm Dan Sterkel, General Manager of Nissan of Valencia, home to the $99 down delivers. Nissan of Valencia loves Santa Clarita and we love sports. That's why we have donated thousands of dollars to our local schools and their athletic departments, including thousands in scholarships and even a brand new car to help keep kids in school. Nissan of Valencia has extremely competitive pricing on all our Nissan models, including the 38 miles to the gallon 2013 Altima. We also have a great selection of pre-owned vehicles with very aggressive pricing. There's no reason to go anywhere else. Hope to see you soon here at Nissan of Valencia. It was the most epic of weeks this week. <laughs> We hadn't seen anything like it in the Foothill League ever. I mean, that Saugus girls cross country team was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> You're right, Vince. Oh, well, they Vince, beat the Vince top. Finally, uh, hang on, <laughs> slow down, buddy. Make your point. Okay, <laughs> they beat the top three teams in the state: the Division One champion, Division Three champion, Division Four champion. But you don't care about cross country. Absolutely, I have no care whatsoever <laughs> about cross country because did you see Brady White? Why are you screaming on thir on Friday night? Because Passion. I'm really, I'm really, Passion. really excited about this. I'm really, I've been waiting for this for weeks and weeks. We're gonna go ahead and do this now. We're gonna oh. go ahead. The Grizzlies are going off, and the National Player of the Week, Brady White. I don't even think we should or talk we're not about, even this. about this. Arguing about this? No, we're not we're arguing about this. Brady White, is that stamped in, Vince? Yes. Uh, I, want, I want to let you guys know something really quick. Uh, Let's go. Full disclosure, uh, I've known Brady's mom for about 10 years. She's okay. a wonderful lady, Andrea White. Okay. And she brought me something at uh, my request, <laughs> Vince, for you. You know, I talk about a poster in your room. Well, here you go. Here is a Brady White semi-poster where he signed it. You can put that in your poster or above I, your bed. I feel like I'm getting really there excited right now. Courtesy oh. of Andrea White, his mother. Because now, perfect. I'm really excited about this. When he's a pro football Hall of Famer, <laughs> I mean, I think that's where we need to go now. It, will Brady White be a pro football Hall of Famer? Will he be in Canton? That's he's throwing for a thousand. That's probably in your poster Hall of Fame next to Frank Thomas. And, and, uh, already Frank. I've got a Maria Sharapova. Maria I've got Sharapova. a Peyton Manning. Will he be the John next Peyton Smoltz. Manning? You're from Georgia, right? I've got all of those. Okay. <laughs> So there's your there's your poster courtesy of Mrs. Andrea White. I could not be more excited. Put that over one through five. Right I'll now. at least put it in my office. All right. So we've got Brady White at number one. Nominations for other <laughs> for others. Uh -oh. uh, you know the number one guy should be. And forgive me, I'm talking over you. I'm gonna let you go. Oh, I think you're gonna say what I was gonna say. Shane Vereen. Uh, Shane, Shane Vereen is making national buzz, not only for what he did in Week One in the NFL, but because of his injury. A lot of fantasy football fans are really upset. A lot of New England Patriots fans are upset. Regardless of what Brady did this week, Shane's number one. I like Shane on this list, but let's talk about some people that aren't on this list. You want to talk about Buzz constantly. Well, before we get off Shane Vereen, Shane Vereen was trending on Twitter yesterday. Yeah. Trending on Twitter. Buzz. Oh, come on. That's Buzz. Are you kidding me? Trending on Twitter, Shane Vereen will be moving up this list. There's no doubt about it. Okay. Who else is not on this list now that should be on it? Um... Well, how about the entire Hart offense? You want to talk about Brady White, Trent Irwin, Davis Copenhaver? This is a Hart show? I, I think you put them all I, on. If you watch that game, it I could be a Hart show. I think you put them on individually. Well, okay, here's the, way, here's the way I saw this game happen. Okay. Is I saw Brady White should be number one. There's no question. Davis, Davis Copenhaver. How do you say his name? Copenhaver. Copenhaver? Yeah. Tell he, me about his backstory. Go ahead. Well, he, he was diagnosed. Well, he had a cancerous tumor. Can't remember the, the age, but he had to be rushed to the hospital for emergency surgery. The, the kid could have died before we even saw him step foot on a high school football field. Survived, bounced back, 
and is now arguably one of their top receivers, definitely top two with Irwin on, on this team. Do you know that everybody is clicking away from this because it's turned into a heart show? Can I say something about somebody else? Yes. J.J. Wilson from Valencia High School with a huge week. Um, two interceptions. We thought he was going to be the guy on the offensive side, but he, two interceptions on defense. Uh, a, a reception touchdown. He actually knocked DeMario, Willie, DeMario uh, Richard uh, not out of the game, but uh, injured him for this week as well. Not on purpose, we think, but <laughs> that's the best running back game. in the division. Best running back in the division, yeah. Absolutely. J.J. Wilson, we knew his name coming into this year, and he absolutely should be on this list. It was kind of who would be the Valencia player. They beat Palmdale 29-20. to He should make it on this list. Yeah. Christian Parrish, 14 carries, 259 yards. That's something special. That's something very special. You know, West Ranch has had its share of good running backs. They haven't let one guy carry the ball, so hopefully they'll let this guy carry the ball and take over for that offense. Roop will be an interesting decision. He had 129 yards on 30 carries. If he stays on this list, he'll probably move down a little bit, but we'll have to check on that. Absey, what do you think of his performance on Absey, Friday night, Saturday night? He, he, yeah, Saturday night. Unbelievable. I told him after the game that him and Brady White are going to be going back and forth all, all year like this. But Apse had two interceptions early, one of which was not his fall off a receiver's hand, intercepted. But he bounces back with 12 straight completions, ends up throwing five touchdowns, runs for another on a beautiful read option. I think Apse could be up there in that Brady White argument. I don't know how quickly I'm going to say Brady White for number one. I'm saying, I'm saying that Canyon defense, too, because that we, Canyon defense Speaking is of that special. Canyon defense. Zach Chua, we talked about him last year. He gets an interception. He also scores three touchdowns on three receptions. That's efficiency. Zach Chua, I think it might be the week where we actually put a name instead of the whole secondary. But Tevin Priestley had another interception. Yeah, two, two, actually. So it's tough to separate Tevin Priestley and mm -hmm. Zach Chua. I think it's the whole defense on yeah. the game. Which actually intercepted three straight pass attempts on Saturday night. Well, we mentioned Kate Apsay. This guy still holds the championship belt in terms of your Santa Clara Valley yes. quarterbacks. Yes. They should actually just write Brady White on your belt. <laughs> you, we should get you a jersey. Actually. All right. We'll look at the list, and then we'll be back. At Signal Sports Hot 10, brought to you in part by Total Women Gym and Spa. Currently offering no enrollment on spa membership. Contact us at 661-286-0229. All right. New list. Kerry's already rolling his eyes. Kerry hates this list with all of his. List is yes. With very Vince, red. Vince, you make this list by yourself. I just want everybody to know, and I am going to look at the camera this time. Vince <laughs> makes this list. Okay, so what do you not like about this list? It. What do I not like about this list? Yes. It looks like the Hart High School yearbook. <laughs> okay, what if we combine Copenhaver, Trent Irwin, and I forgot to put Connor Wing. I kind of Roth. forgot to, get, to get more red. <laughs> yeah, Connor Wing and Roth. Combine them into one, and then we can replace them with Carrie's hate for Hart. <laughs> I don't have a hate I'm for heart. I just think that, that everything needs bal balance. I'm a Libra. Balance. So who, who should be on this list that's currently not? Okay, let's, let's start from the bottom. Okay. Reed Root. At number should 10, be. he had a really big first week. Second week, okay. I'm iffy with Reed. Okay. Trent Irwin, you, do you think we should combine? Them? I think we should combine. Okay, we'll combine Copenhaver, Trent Irwin and Connor Wingenroth, who had a 99-yard yeah, touchdown cool run. With a record, obviously. With a record. And we'll put them, for now, we'll put them right here. Heart receivers. All right, keep them out of probation. We'll keep them out of probation. Absey drops to number eight. Is that too low for Absey? Yes. He, he had five touchdown passes. I well, uh, you know what? First, and can I say something about yeah. this? Take the student section off first. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Carrie's did, still hating on the student You section. saw that student section. That student um, section was dynamic on Friday night. Absolutely. They went crazy. I saw three student sections over the weekend. I saw West Ranch, I saw Canyon, and I saw Hart, and they weren't close. Hart was by far bigger, by far Hart's, louder. Hart's two-week run, I think, gets them on this list. Who, I owns, think, who owns more red and black jackets? You two combined or Mike Harrington? <laughs> 
Hey, I do have, I have a green, yellow yeah. jacket and a purple and gold jacket also. So I think that we should perhaps replace these two with maybe Carrie's Heart Hate. No, I think what should be on there is Max Homa. Max Homa, who made national news, helping the United States win a Walker Cup international news. Valencia High graduate Max Homa on that list. I will say, heart, or Carrie's Hatred of Heart did buzz more on Twitter this week. Max Homa on this list. Saugus Girls cross country at five. I would like to move them up, but there's just nowhere for them to go. Shane, look at Shane, look. Shane Marine and needs to be number one. I'm sold on Brady White. I'm completely sold on him. Last week was my convinc that was the convincing moment. But Brady White, Shane Vereen, do you think that they're talking about Brady White in uh, Foxborough? In, in, no. Or middle America? No, no, but in this valley, the person that they're talking about, this, this is about the Signal Sports Hot 10. Okay. This isn't about, this. I mean, if it was just about we had celebrities we, across the nation. We, we had put Tom Brady in. We have more one. clicks on our website about Shane Vereen than we did about Brady White. And we did have at Signal Sports responses about Shane Vereen. Granted We're, about Brady White as well, but one's in the NFL, one you think might be there. One. His, his week will come. Brady, he just said he's his, the national player of the week. His week will come. <sighs> Shane could be the NFL player of the week. Well, y'all talk me out of this man before. I, there's Shane is no the Patriots player of the week. Absolutely. And the the N in NFL, by the way, Vince, National Football League. Good one. It is Shane Vereen. There's no doubt that he should be, I could put him at number two. He's number one. Two. He's number one. Majority. Vereen? Uh, and, uh, Dan, uh, unfortunately, not here to uh, side with you. So Dan was here to side with me. Dan would say Shane Vereen. Dan would not say Shane Vereen. Yeah. Four, uh, it's all right. You got to... What is it called? A booby prize? The uh, yeah, this poster. the poster. This hurts more than you've ever known. Shane Vereen going at number one. He's sure to come down on this list. Probably next okay. week. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not there yet. Shane Vereen. Is, he's now out for three weeks. So he's basically a non factor. He's out, there, he's out to week eleven. Months. He's out till week 11? Week 11. So he's basically not even a factor moving forward. Does not matter. I believe, Vince, it was your point that this is the list for one week. No, but it's, but it's also an ever-evolving list. This is a very long argument about something that we've already decided, Vince. <laughs> you, you decided this before the show. Uh, we've got majority here. Shane Vereen You know when this there. was decided? When it was clear that there was more buzz around Shane Vereen this week. I mean, I guess I can't, I guess for one more week, we'll go Shane Vereen. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I really can't believe this is happening. Hey, I'm convinced, by the way, I'm a Brady White fan at this point. Last week convinced me, but Brady White. Shane is the guy. That took a lot, too. Brady White. I don't know about that. The National Player of the Week, National, <laughs> as in Nat in as in National. Okay. Number three, Canyon D. Sure. Okay. Because Canyon D has been very impressive. They mm -hmm. are quite a buzz. And I think that they absolutely should be there. You okay with the Hart wide receivers at number four? Saugus Cross Country, mm -hmm. JJ Wilson. You don't like the Hart students, no. but they're staying up there. I like the students. I don't like the them on the list. You don't like anything that's red and black. <sighs> anything Hart. All right, never said that. I'm, I am so, tweet, just, just, just tweet it, last, Carrie. Last year just, I was Canyon's enemy. This year I guess I'm Hart's enemy. Is that the? Well, you're Canyon's enemy too. You're just an enemy of all. Just an enemy of everyone. Yeah, except for Larry Muir. Except for Larry Muir. You and Larry Muir, super tight. He's not on the list, but he should probably be on the list. But anyway. All right, that's well, our we list can for only this have week. So much Valencia on the list. Yeah. Only so much Valencia. Only so much. Can't Valencia. wait till Dan comes back next week. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Stamp it in. Um.